Recognizing a fraudulent phone call or text message is getting tougher to do because the bad guys are always trying to improve their scamming techniques. However, there are ways to help determine if someone's trying to deceive you. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia is digging deeper into those corrupt communication scams. The warranty is up for renewal. I'd like to congratulate you on your $1,000 instant rebate. Whether it comes on your phone as a voice call or via a text message, like this fake package delivery alert purportedly from the U.S. Postal Service, they all have one thing in common. Oftentimes, scammers will use area codes that are similar to whoever they are contacting, the area that they are in. A new study by Been Verified indicates in North Carolina, the area code most faked by scammers is 910, while in neighboring South Carolina, it's 803 and 757 for Virginia. When people see that area code that they're familiar with, they're more comfortable answering it and letting their guard down a little bit more than they should. Phony text messages are the king of scams, containing links to websites that'll cost you your cash, personal information, or both. Are people more likely to answer a text message than an email? People are often um, more able to answer text messages because we've become so accustomed to it in our day-to-day -day lives. In fact, stats compiled by the company Simple Texting indicate 98% of text messages are opened and read. One of the best ways to figure out if a phone number is legit is to do a reverse search to find out if there's been suspicious activity associated with that phone. Services like Been Verified charge a monthly subscription fee starting at $26. But you can also try and do it yourself. Go to whatever company that they're claiming to be from, independently find their website, independently find their phone number, and verify it yourself. Among the top 12 dirty dozen scam texts and phone calls are ones that impersonate banks and credit cards, as well as ones telling you that you've missed a package delivery. If you'd like to see the complete list, I've included a link to that, as well as several other helpful links in my web story. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprager. I feel like you just have to assume everything yeah. is a scam now. And, and what Steve just mentioned about delivery, I got yeah. that one yesterday from a text mm. claiming to be UPS and the driver was lost. I from I even went outside to look, and then I'm right. like, wait a minute, I'm not expecting anything, so it didn't respond. But clearly, according to Steve, I was right. It's a scam. Probably best.